Friday. What better way to kick off your weekend than the Friday edition of Sunrise Cereals? I'm your host, Richard Pochard, and today we go further into the Asian jungles with Terry and the Pirates. But before we visit the characters of the cereal, let's take a look at some of the characters from the original comic strip by Milton Caniff. First up is their man mountain of a servant, called Big Stoop in the comics. He was a servant of the Dragon Lady originally, who muted him by cutting out his tongue as a child. <laughs> Needless to say, he is not her biggest fan. We've also met wealthy heiress Norman D. Drake. She was in love with Pat Ryan in the comics, but alas, her parents refused to allow her to marry a commoner and arranged a marriage with sniveling Tony Sandhurst instead. Although she always had love in her heart for Pat, she chose to remain faithful to her husband and father to her child, even when he sided with the Axis in World War II. As for characters that aren't in the serial, let's start with the mysterious cabaret singer who simply calls herself Burma. Although something of a con artist, she was always willing to help Terry and Pat when they needed it. She also liked to flirt with Terry, though she never meant it seriously. Someone who was serious about Terry was Southern Belle April Kane, who met him when she took a job as Pat's secretary. She eventually ran away because she was being blackmailed, but returned in 1944 after escaping a Japanese prison camp. Her love for Terry never waned, and she tried to build an airfield near an island army base for him, but the army abandoned the island and left her stranded there alone. And finally, we have the tragic beauty Raven Sherman, an heiress in love with Pat's buddy, a pilot named Dude Hennick. She was eventually kidnapped and thrown from a speeding truck by one of Terry's enemies. She died in Duke's arms, much to the ire of many fans of the comic. This rich tapestry of characters was one of the reasons Caniff was awarded the very first Cartoonist of the Year award by the National Cartoonist Society in 1946. The characters in the serial perhaps don't weave quite so rich a tapestry, but they have been waiting patiently for us to get back to them, so why don't we do just that with Chapter 3, The Mountain of Death. Gentlemen, I'll see that we get some action. Good night. 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 Hey, Pat! Look! Looks like he meant it when he said they'd get some action.
包，看看，看看。around when you really need one. Wasn't that the whole idea when you started shooting at them? Well, I guess that's the last of them. Where did that machine gun come from? Darned if I know. There's just a thing! Was that you out there, the machine gun? Oh, no machine gun. Devil cracker. Big stoop get him from nowhere. Show them. <laughs> Say, that's all right. You know, the big fellow's a magician. Well, we owe him a vote of thanks. Mr. Drake! Mr. Drake! Del! Del, what is Drake. it? Miss Normandy gone. Gone? Gorilla take to jungle. Gorilla? True master, me see. Well, I know what it means to be grabbed by that gorilla. Normandy! Pat, what are we going to do? Brace up, Drake. Your boy knows a trail will follow him. Come on, let's get going. Listen, man, the gorilla's stolen my daughter. Will you help me find her? Not me, Drake. Oh, you're a lot of cowards! No, oh. oh, why didn't you shoot? Dal, which way did they go? That way, master. Are you sure? Yes, me see. I bet she's a real buzzkill on a camping trip. that song lying?
I need a minute to powder my nose. How did you find your way here? Never mind that. I just saw Drake's daughter taken inside. I demand to see her. You're in no position to demand anything. Well, I'll see her. Stop! I'll give you a load of this. See you, Sam. I've got to find Drake's daughter. Needs you, or I'd bump you off with a great deal of pleasure. But now I'm taking you back to Fang's headquarters. You two stay here and watch the girl. Come on. Wait a minute. Norman, these handkerchiefs. Then we're on the right trail. Well, I hope so. Brace up, Drake. We'll find her. That's Norman's compact. We're on the right trail, all right. Are you sure she's here? She couldn't be any place else. I'll bring somebody out. trained at the Three Stooges School of Combat. Good boy. Hey, you didn't hit him. 
of that thing, did you? No. But I would. <laughs> well, come on, let's put him in the room. Normandy. Dad! Hey, hey, Mr. Drake, I beat two guys up all by myself. Terry! Now you better take Normandy outside. Oh, sure. wait, maybe my dad's here. No, no, Terry. Stanton's taking him to Fang's headquarters. Oh, gee. No, don't worry, kid. We'll give it the place a once over. Darling, you'll never have another experience like that. We'll get out of this country on the next boat. Oh, you're not going to sacrifice everything you work for here. I'll just see to it in the future that I'm never without a gun. I'm not afraid, Dad. You were a big help. Here, Ooh, no, take this. a little testy, are we? Yes, we're armed, but I don't... We don't want to desert you, but my dad... Normandy says Dr. Lee was taken to Fang's headquarters. We must do our best to get him out of there. I understand, but that would be suicide. The way Fang's guarded, you wouldn't have a chance. There's but one source of help left. The Dragon Lady. Yes, Fang is her enemy. He's trying to undermine her influence in the jungle and capture her temple. If I were you, I'd see her. She's at a place called the Temple of the Dawn. Well, how do we find it? It's due northeast. You can't miss it. We're as good as there already. Come on, useless. Come on, useless. Hey, Pat. I wonder what that is. This doesn't lead any place. Well, it must. There's no other way. The mountain's like a precipice on both sides of this cave. Well, let's take a try at it. You fellas wait here. We'll yell if it goes through. Besides, it'll give them another excuse to call you useless. Thank God, Mara, we bring you human sacrifice. May this girl's life appease thy anger so that you will drive our enemies from our door. Mara. Lady accuses Terry and Pat of being vandals, orders them put to death. Native guards rush in to obey her. Terry and Pat fight desperately. They are escaping from the temple when the whole force of Dragon Lady's natives charge at them. These are only a few of the thrills you will see in the Dragon Queen Threatens, the next amazing chapter of Terry and the Pirates. Columbia fashion that cliffhangers are made pointless by the scenes from the next episode. Apparently, when they started making their own serials, they didn't bother to learn how they were supposed to work. Ah, well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments, and as always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Will the gorilla use his safe word to stop the whipping? Will Pat keep a cool head? Will Terry's camera ever run out of film? Have a great weekend, but be here on Monday for Chapter 4, The Dragon Queen Threatens. We'll see you then. Hey everybody, it's Richard again, and if this is the first time you're viewing my series, you've already missed a lot. So why not subscribe 
And that way, you'll never miss another exciting cliffhanging moment. Subscribe today.